All right, here with Steve and Steve, newly crowned bronze medalist in the two-man bobsled. First, Langdon, uh, tell me the final run. At what moment did you know that you had a medal locked up? Um, well, the last run, like three prior to that, it, it was a very good run by my standards. Um, in his five or six seconds, as you're cresting that hill after the finish line, where you have no idea, there's no clocks, um, no camera screens, nothing. You're just trying to stick your head up as far as you can to, to look for your teammates or coaches holding that number one. And as soon as we crested, um, we saw a bunch of those, and then we were swarmed by a sea of black USA jackets, and it was that moment that we knew we had did it. Steve Holcomb, uh, you made history four years ago. First gold medal in the four-man since 1948. This one, the first two-man, any kind of medal since 52. How does this one compare to that one? Uh, I mean, it's just as awesome. I mean, it, it does, a medal's a medal. I mean, we came here to, to, to medal. Um, obviously, our goal is to win a gold medal, but that's everybody's goal here. And uh, we hadn't won a medal since 1952, another 62-year drought. Um, and we set out for this goal, and we achieved it. And so, I mean, it's 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 overwhelming when you when you when you when you your hard work pays off. All the hard work and sacrifice uh, actually pays off. I mean, that's uh, that's a huge, incredible feeling. Still more work to be done in the four man. Uh, you're looking for two goals in a row. Was this one kind of just a cherry on top? Um, I mean, yeah, we were we were looking for double gold. I mean, this is my third Olympics. Uh, I'm not here just to I'm not here to just to, to celebrate and be an Olympian, and we're here to win. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a little disappointing we didn't win, but at the same time, like I said, I, we're, we won a medal. We broke that medal drought that a lot of great drivers before us. Uh, Brian Sharma came up just barely short in 1998, and uh, it's been great. Uh, he's been behind us the whole way, and uh, so this has been a great uh, uh, finish to the two-man season. A lot of people we talk to, this is it for them. They get to go party, but not the case with you guys. How do you balance celebration and then preparing for what's ahead? Well, I mean, it's, it's tough. I mean, uh, as, it's, more events end every day, and more people are out having a great time, and it's, it's, it's actually difficult to kind of stay away from it. Um, but at the same time, uh, I, do, I think we do a great job of kind of, you know, locking ourselves down and, and staying focused. I mean, we can celebrate in five or six days, and uh, once we're done with that four-man run right before the opening or closing ceremony, uh, I mean, we'll have a great time from there on out. I mean, it's going to be a great summer, um, just having this uh, medals around our necks for the rest of our lives. So. Like I mentioned, we're from Colorado Springs, Southern Colorado. You've had a residence at several different locations, but Springs has been a home for you, your family there. Uh, what has, I guess, the OTC or what has Springs offered to you in your career? Uh, well, I have a lot of family lives in Colorado Springs. Uh, my grandparents have lived there my entire life, so I, I visit there quite often. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's a hu Olympic hub. Uh, I mean, that's where the Olympic Committee is based. They have the, the biggest Olympic training center there. Uh, I trained there for four years, and uh, it's just an incredible uh, honor to be uh, to be able to come out here and see all that uh, hard work and, and the support of the, the Colorado people that uh, that it pays off. And it's cool. What's your favorite thing about Colorado? Um, the mountains. I mean, I'm a mountain guy. I was born and raised in Park City, um, so I, the mountains are good for me. I like the, the bigger the better. Um, so yeah, I mean, I love being in. Uh, it's in that environment, and it's, plus it's like it's a very healthy city, very active city, and that's kind of uh, being an athlete. It's hard to, to not like that. So. And finally, when the record books are written, what what are the books going to say about USA bobsled and Steve Holcomb? Or is it going to say Steve Holcomb, one of the greatest of all time? Um, well, I hope so. It's kind of that's a really cool honor. I mean, I'd be really, uh, you know, I guess that's you know kind of the uh, the legacy I'd like to leave behind. But uh, you know, our main focus is just to win medals and do the best we can right now, and kind of, I guess, let the uh, let the people write the books later on. Great. Steve, Steve, thanks. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. By the way, all the uh, girls have a crush on me.